Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use custom CSS to create a frosted glass look for the header of your Squarespace website. Now the codes I'm using today are listed in the description below. I've got codes for 7.1, Brine, and Bedford theme templates built in Squarespace 7, so make sure you find the right code for your theme and you'll be good to go. Let's go ahead and hop into my demo site so I can show you exactly how this works, just in case you want to change part of this code to customize it even further. All right, so here we are in my demo site. I'm just gonna grab this code right here. Again, this one is specific for 7.1, but I also have the codes for Bedford and Brine listed in the description below. So make sure you're using the right one for your version and theme, okay? So we're gonna hop into design and then scroll down to custom CSS, and that's where we're gonna place this code. Now you'll see right away we get an interesting opaque color, just a slight white there with a blurred background at 5px. Now, if you want it to be super blurry, you can change that to 15 PX, or if you want it to be barely blurry, maybe change it down to two, and you can still see most of the image behind it. Now, this background color we've added here is an RGBA code. This 0.3 at the end means it'll show up in 30% opacity, so I can change that to 0.8 if I want it to be an even thicker color, or I can change it down to 0.1 if I want it to be barely visible there. Let's go ahead and leave it at 0.5, and these colors right here are the RGBA colors. If I switch these around and maybe instead of 255, I make that a zero, that's going to give me a purple header. Um, I can change the last one around here to a zero and we'll get a header that's a yellow color instead. So play around with the RGBA color code so it's the right color for your own site. The first part of this line is important here, background inherit. That's what's gonna let us see the image behind the actual header itself. So make sure you leave that part alone, okay? And again, this is the code name I'm using for 7.1. This code right here, header announcement bar wrapper, covers the desktop version as well as mobile and doesn't affect the mobile menu. So that's why I recommend using this code. If you're using Brine, I'm gonna hop into my Brine demo. You'll see I've, act I've actually used a period with the capital letter H, just header, and that covers the Brine website here. And then in my Bedford demo, I've used hashtag lowercase h to cover the mobile, tablet, and desktop version of my Bedford menu. Again, it's the exact same code. Adjust the blur to super blurry or barely blurry at all, and feel free to play around with the RGBA color code as well. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial, a nice quick one for today. The codes I used are listed in the description below, so you can just copy and paste those into the custom CSS of your Squarespace website and start playing around with the blur and the colors to make it perfect for your own site design. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you learned something awesome, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.